For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem that says determine the magnitude of the components of F which is has a magnitude of uh, 600 newtons acting along and perpendicular of segment ED which is uh, perpendicular and parallel of this segment so the first thing you want to do is find the position vectors which are E is 4i plus 5j minus 2k uh, D is equal to 4i plus 2j minus 2k and b is equal to 0i plus 2j plus 0k let me see if i got it right uh, b is 0 to 0 that's perfect e is 4 so that's 2 and 2 5 is 3 and 2 and minus 2 perfect and D is 4, 2 in the J, and negative 2. Okay, perfect. So first we're going to find uh, the vector that goes from E to B. And you find that by doing uh, vector, position vector V minus position vector E. And you get that this is equal to negative 4I minus 3J plus 2K. Then you want to find the magnitude of this vector by doing the square root of the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. And this is equal to 5.39. Then you want to do find the uni vector that acts along E and B and you find this univector by this univector right here with a magnitude of 1 you find it by dividing the vector by its magnitude so you're going to divide each of these components by this magnitude and you're going to get that the univector is equal to negative 0.732i <clears throat> sorry that's 742 i minus 0.557 j plus 0.371 k now you're given the magnitude of the force which is 600 so the Cartesian vector form of the force can be found by multiplying the magnitude times the unit vector in which it acts along which is equal to negative 445.2i minus 334.2j plus 222.6k now you want to find the component of this force that acts parallel and perpendicular to this segment right here so you want to find this component and perpendicular will be this component to find the com this component right here you're gonna do the cross product of F I mean sorry not the cross product the dot product of F and the uni vector acting along E through D. So first we need to find this univector. To find the univector we're gonna first find the vector that goes from E to D which is position vector D minus position vector E and this, was, this is 0i minus 3j plus 0k. Now this is very easy um, this univector has a magnitude of 3 because this is 0 and this is 0 and the univector acting along ED is equal to each one divided by the magnitude 
so it's equal to negative 1j and we got the force right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the dot product between f and the univector e d now the dot product is equal to dx multiplied okay let me actually write them down that's negative 445.2i minus 334.2j plus 222.6k dot 0i minus 1j plus 0k so 445.2 times 0 is equal to 0 plus negative 334.2 times negative 1 is positive 334.2 plus 221.6 times 0 is 0 so the dot product is 334.2 which means that the projection along ED is 334.2 now this triangle I drew right here let me expand it over here this is the vector which has found which is 334.2 this that's the magnitude this is the force acting along the cable which we know to be 600 and this is the perpendicular vector that they're telling us to find perpendicular right here and this is the only one we're missing we know this is a right triangle so this is an angle of 90 degrees and if we have a right triangle we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the, mis the perpendicular force so the perpendicular force in other words the uh, projection of the force along a perpendicular line of ED is equal to uh, we're going to find it by doing the Pythagorean theorem which is going to be the Pythagorean theorem says that uh, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared c being the hypotenuse so if this is c uh, let's say this is a and this is b we know that 334.2 square plus b square is equal to 600 square if you solve for b you're gonna get that the force is equal to 498.3 so this is 498.3 perpendicular and the parallel force along ed and this is the perpendicular force along ED is equal to 334.2 final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you